looking at this little uh, condenser unit it's on a uh, trailer that's now static so the wheels took off it um, it's not cooling uh, we've just checked we've got a good connection on there that's power coming in and I've just checked we've got power coming out I've heard the solenoid click, I can actually hear it humming so pressure switch is made um, we were thinking short gas if it was off from the pressure switch um, so we're going to have to have a look in that box there I think to see what's going on in there It's asking for cooling, it's not running. Found that brake, it was off, I reset it and it's fired up. So, uh, that liquid line's red hot, I think it's probably got a lot of load on it at the moment. That looks, just, looks more like um, it's working hard rather than short gas, the way that liquid's going through there. Very hot. Might have been going on or off on the pressure switch. Okay, this is quite dirty. That's probably what it was. Probably gone on and off on the high pressure switch and then uh, uh, stalled. Six amps, that's about the maximum it should be pulling. Room's at 19. We'll get a little jet washer out and wash the coil out. These are uh, 8 millimeters or 5 sixteenths. Eight mil on the fan motor, but we might we might just take these bolts out of the bottom. <coughs> Again, eight mil. Have to get a spanner on those. Found there to part now, we're just going to put a bit of oil in there. Bearings felt a bit tight. Okay, the fans, fans back on, just checking the run cap. That's reading uh, 10.3 and it should be a 15, so we'll get that changed. And then we'll check the start cap as well. well I don't know if we can check that. Um, we'll be able to check it now. So it should. Take it off properly, I think. Um, we 108, which sounds about right. 
So that one's okay. The start cap's okay. It's just a one cap's out of spec. So we want a 15. And then we'll uh, see what the run current's dropped to. Once we get that uh, new capacitor on there and the condenser's clean, and we've oiled the fan as well. Right, the cable was too short on the new one, but luckily it fits inside the box, so uh, saves joining it and trying to make it waterproof. for that, which is like 20% isn't it really? Yeah. I think that's the old uh, evaporator from when it was a um, trailer unit. It's all a bit bodged, but previously we took the 12 volt fans off and put some 240 volt ones on there. Uh, actually, it might just be one fan on this one. We're in high speed, uh, 3000 RPM, little universal motors with a capacitor on there. Oh, look at how it stinks. Still 10% drop in current. Put some copper spray in the um, screw holes. To make getting the cover off easier next time because they're getting a bit rusty. I think this is spent a lot of time by the sea. Um, it's either that or it's the fish, salt from the fish maybe. But everything seems to be getting rusty on it. Down to 15, 14, 5.5, 5.6 amps. So it was 24 when I turned it back on. So it's been quite well really. It's down to 11. It took 24 degrees out, 23 degrees. That will drop slower as it gets um, nearer to the set point. It's the ambient, sort of 25. That's down to 10 now. Um, when the temperature's the same inside and out, it's just cooling the air in the room. But as you get colder inside, you've got heat coming through. Plus, you've got all the stuff that's in there. It's got to cool down. 